All right, what's up, worldwide family? Jimmy Flippin' Dills back at it again. Thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to talk to you uh, today about uh, my actual right at one month review for the Walmart Marketplace seller platform. Uh, that's that's going to be the the uh, the title, I think. So yeah, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I have been. I, I first, I am a reseller. In case y'all don't know. Uh, on eBay, Amazon, uh, my favorite, jamestowntrading.com, uh, Mercari, you name it, I, I'm there just about. Uh, at, at any rate, I have decided to, to dabble a little bit on the Walmart Marketplace seller platform. I do have approximately 350 SKUs of my inventory over to their site, and I have been doing it just over a month. I think I started November 30th and now we are, or excuse me, September 30th. There we go. Yeah, September 30th. It's now November the 6th, I believe. Right on there. I'm, I'm on my vacation, my workation from my regular job. I'm a part-time reseller. Uh, I do generally have, uh, it fluctuates of course, but around $45,000 in active inventory. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, a good portion of those SKUs are on uh, the Walmart Marketplace platform and have been for the last month. Uh, the, the, there's several ways to approach this uh, and maybe I should have drawn it out first but I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, I fly by the seat of my pants. So here we go. Uh, the first initial uh, thought uh, when I got accepted to be on the Walmart uh, Marketplace was joy. Hey, they let me in. I hear they don't let everybody in. I don't know whether it was my website, my, my history with other platforms, or whether they just needed people at the time, but they let me in, so I was happy about that. Now, fast forward, after a few days, I didn't hear any dings or, uh, you know, cha-chings or any notifications that things got sold. I'd been doing it two or three days, had went live, and was putting things in one by one. There are ways of doing CSV files and everything else, but I was individually listing my products and uh, because I'm not huge on the tech savvy side of it. Uh, anyway, a few days in I get a message and apparently it was a customer reaching out about a different size on something that they had already ordered. And I look on there and there's three or four orders past the one day uh, shipping time that they allow that had already counted against my performance metrics because there was no notification. So I have tried to set notifications. You can do it every 15 minutes. Boy, that's annoying. Uh, or you can do it once every 12 hours. And ultimately, I just realized I have to check them uh, all the time. And generally, uh, in all transparency, all credit to Walmart, there is a decent amount of sales on there. Uh, but here's the deal, there's the good side, here's the bad side. <laughs> there's a lot of bad guys, and I'm not gonna lie to you. There are, there are some decent amount of sales. The velocity, uh, for the most part, is decent. Slow today, and I got one order today. Uh, but I did also have some choice words with Walmart. My account still shows to be active, uh, but I did threaten to, uh, to leave and go elsewhere, uh, or stay elsewhere, however you want to say that. Uh, but long story short, uh, where am I? Uh, and on eBay, on Amazon, uh, on, on you name it, I am less, uh, less than 1% return rate, even below a half of a percent return rate. Uh, and I just, I don't have returns, right? Uh, and, you know, good descriptions, good, good product, packaged nicely, boom, winning combination, right? Not so with Walmart, not so. Uh, in all honesty, consistently now, uh, for the last 40 something days, I am right close. Same guy, same product, same packaging, same everything, other than the tapes and the branding and all that stuff. Same service. Uh, I am right at 10% return, guys, 10%, uh, which is just flooring. Like I say, on every other site, less than one half of 1%, uh, and just crazy, crazy. 
here, here's some of the fun things, the fun things that I have learned in the last month. Uh, I have sold several watches. Uh, Every one that has hit, and they are brand new watches, has been returned uh, for a customer reason no longer wanted. Brand new watches. Just people decided they didn't want them. Uh, maybe they found something else. And it's not the prices either, because they um, my prices are very competitive. You know, they are as cheap as any other thing on Walmart, and uh, because they still have the like the buy box thing, like Amazon, uh, and um, you know you have to be competitive. So it's not that. I did get one pair of pants uh, that that hit me with price too high. Uh, it's right at when. Oh, that's that is bright. Is that gonna? I don't think that's gonna help. That might be a little better. Anyway, uh, one one that was a little too high, so big they just dropped from. Uh, they they were running a sale in the store that they started after I sent it. So I wasn't able to adjust my price. Customer didn't hit me. I wasn't able to do a partial refund. Uh, so uh, that one came back. But anyway, the watches, they did not want them. So they sent them back. And one of them, instead of a watch, I can't do that either. Uh, golly. Huh. That, that's driving me crazy, guys. I'm sure uh, I'm sure y'all are not digging the glare either. Uh, all right, so back at it. Uh, the watches. One of them got returned. It was no longer a watch. It was a lamp. A little watch to a big old lamp. Uh, I say big. Probably two foot by one foot, you know, square. I hit Walmart up and I said, hey, you know, instead of the um, watch, y'all gave me a lamp. And they basically said, that's not our problem. <laughs> I said, do what? You know, it, it, they got this deal about how they protect sellers and everything else. And, and they said, well, return uh, shipping's not eligible. So you can't send it back to us. We don't want it. And we refunded the customer already. So it's yours. I said, and, and the money? He said, oh, yeah, yeah. We took that and we gave it to the customer. Uh, now, I'm, I'm positive that the customer did not... Uh, return a lamp in place of the watch it was a mix-up at Walmart okay one off so be it whatever uh, there are some other things that I should get into also um, and, and there's more of these so I guess I'll go through those and then I'll go back to what I skipped in the first place uh, let's see what else uh, another one that I absolutely love and I say love so sarcastically so sarcastically is that they open sealed packages of clothing or light bulbs or you name it and, and bring it back all destroyed now walmart says if the item is not sellable they will make it right they will make it right walmart will make it right if you get product back that is not sellable uh, one case for instance that i've gone through disputes i've gone through appeals everything else the sale price of it was $17.99 uh, for the sellers that that, that hear me uh, $17.99 eight ounce ship rate right and um, when their dispute resolution through appeals and everything they issued me a three dollar reimbursement for $17.99 now you know that doesn't even cover shipping uh, you know so be it whatever uh, repeatedly this has happened uh, my 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 favorite one by by far favorite one is I had a pair of shoes that I paid and I paid the ship. Uh, they were returned and I use quotations with returned uh, because again it is sarcasm. It was returned uh, lost after delivery. Uh, <laughs> lost after they, they lost them after after it got delivered they lost them so walmart gave them their money back uh gave me gave them my money back my money that i put in the product my money that i put in the shipping my profit my everything they took all of that and uh, gave it back to the customer uh, so they got to keep my shoes and they got to keep the product 
Oh, wonderful. Uh, let's see. Um, and that has gone through d disputes, appeals, everything. Crazy, crazy. Uh, let's see. Also, uh, when a sale happens through Walmart on their platform, it does not trigger an on-hand adjustment. So say I have three, I, three items, it they, does trigger a temporary hold on the item. So say I have three or five or ten, whatever. Say I have ten items and I sell ten items. As soon as I hit ship on those ten items, those ten items go back into Walmart's inventory as if I still have them. Each time I make a sale, I've got to go back through their site and manually adjust the on-hands each time. Uh, not to mention their site is so glitchy it reminds me of GoDaddy. Uh, the, the, it's just super slow. Uh, luckily, the, their um, pictures and descriptions are already there like Amazon because I don't believe you could get pictures up. I don't believe you could get descriptions up. This thing is ridiculously slow. Uh, it errors out all the time. Uh, it, it is just insane how primitive Walmart Marketplace seller platform is for modern day sellers. Now with all of that said, 10% returns, 10% returns, uh, the velocity is unheard of uh, for the most part. I mean, unless I just had things finally that, uh, at least initially, you know, the beginner's luck side of it, I, things flew off the shelf at first. It, it, it has slowed down, and I wonder if it's not that they just did not, it had been a while since they had that inventory. People had it on the, the notifications, you know, part of it, because things have slowed down. Uh, but that initial pop, the, that first month, Oh my goodness, you know, the first three and a half weeks of the last five uh, was super fast. I mean, so much, I'm glad I was on vacation through parts of it. Um, but uh, does the good outweigh the bad? Barely. <laughs> uh, barely, really. Now, you know, um, I, I'm still on the fence with it. You know, the, the velocity is, is great. You know, I, I told my stepson... Uh, two to three weeks in that provided that the velocity continues, right? Um, you know, would you rather have a part-time job making $15 an hour working 10 hours a week? Or would you rather get a $10 an hour job and be able to work 40 hours a week? You, you see what I'm saying? So you get paid a lot less, you're moving a lot more uh, and, but overall, it seems to be that you are making more, uh, but it definitely ties up a lot of time. If you don't have the buying power to be able to get the multi skews and stuff, um, it's crazy. And I wouldn't even dream. Uh, I've seen horror stories upon horror stories with uh, Deliver and the Walmart uh, Fulfillment WFS. Uh, just ridiculous, guys. Um, it, it, it's absolutely horrible. Uh, and, and the seller side, the seller fulfilled isn't much better either with, with the ridiculous return rates. Uh, I got back, I kid you not, a pack of, a, a six pack of women's underwear, pubic hair attached to them. And when I came to Walmart to make it right, they were like, yeah, not our problem. But their seller protection says a different thing. Doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> It's absolutely mind-blowing how horrible uh, Walmart treats the sellers. I, I, I can't imagine uh, if, if business doesn't continue at the velocity that they are, um, I, can't, I can't imagine being with them much longer. I know this has been a different kind of video. I uh, appreciate your um, interest if you made it this far. Please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. I will continue to bring you my journey uh, in my life as a part-time reseller. So, like I said, phenomenal numbers. Just huge, huge returns that I really would urge an abundance of caution 
to anybody that's contemplating getting hooked up with Walmart Marketplace. Uh, absurd, absurd scenarios, and they just seem like that's just part of it. So uh, I'm not done with them. Like I say, I would urge an abundance of caution. That's it, guys. That's, uh, that's the video for the day. Uh, Y'all have a wonderful day. Please consider liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, all that good stuff. We'll go drop this video, see if I can find some money on them shells. All right? Y'all take it easy. Bye.